Talofa. It's me, Tinkin here with the VFD, and today we've got fish for the saltwater tank. It's about time. As you can see, there's a pistol shrimp on the drip right now in this scene, and a lot has happened recently. So basically, what I did is I took the 2.5 gallon saltwater tank and I have turned it into a sump for the 5.5 gallon tank, and I've combined the live rock and I've added some more sand to the 5.5 gallon tank. So there's going to be a bit more sand, it's a different type of sand, just to maintain the pH, I suppose you could say. But yeah, in this clip, we have a tiger pistol shrimp. I was hoping for a randali pistol shrimp, but they didn't have any in the local fish store. So this is after I've added him. He's found refuge behind the live rock in the original 2.5 gallon saltwater tank. And he's hiding. He'll be excavating for a good while. I think I sped it up. Yeah, I definitely sped it up because he digs for a while. These guys are engineers. They love to dig. And I got this guy for a really good deal. He was only like $30, I think. Yep, I bought him with my own money. Yes, I did buy him. No question about it. Yeah, and that's, that's the tiger pistol shrimp he's digging up. But... What I did is I got a new room, so I used to have one room, and I switched to another room, and I, oh, he's digging with his hind claws there. I'm going to move the camera. So what I did is I took this tank, and I moved it to my new room, which you will see in this clip very shortly. But, uh, yeah, a lot has happened. I'm still working on the sump, and as soon as I'm done, there's going to be a video. I think I've already recorded some of it. But as soon as I'm done with the... Uh, with making the sump, it'll come out as a VFD video. And that guy, he loves to dig, let me tell you. He loves to dig. And right now in this tank, there's that guy. There's a peppermint shrimp. And there's some type of goby slash blenny thing. I don't know, it's not mine. I'm giving it to a friend. Or I'm keeping it for a friend. And I give it back to a friend during the recording of this video. So he's only here for about half of the video. Maybe a bit more, maybe a bit less. But uh, overall, I'd say I love my pistol shrimp. He's a pretty hardy shrimp, and I would sig I would recommend him for the beginning hobby. And a 5.5 might not fit him right now, but later he will get a bigger tank. And here, so my friend actually gave me this clownfish, along with um, some hermit crabs and a snail. And the snail sadly would not survive, but the clownfish is here, and he is good. And I'm adding the clownfish right now. He is a cinnamon clownfish, not like your regular Ocellaris per percula clownfish. And there he goes. Oh, yeah, he just got nipped by that goby slash blenny thing. I don't know what he is, which is another good reason that I decided to give him back to my friend. I didn't want to hold on to him any longer. But... He looks a bit sad in this clip. That's because he's just getting used to the tank. And as you'll see in the clips later in this video, he does get happier. And uh, this is going to be a shorter video, um, just because not a lot happening. Or I didn't take a lot of footage. But, um, so yeah, that's that. That's the clownfish. I like him. I don't know what I'm going to name him yet. If you have any name suggestions, then please let me know. I would love to name this guy. I don't know what to name him, though. That's a hermit crab. I didn't record adding him because, uh... Well, he's not that important. He's just a hermit crab. I just dropped him in. Along with that snail, who I, th I think he got killed by that peppermint shrimp. I have no idea what that peppermint shrimp is doing, but I, he, he, I think he killed the snail. I came back, and he looked pretty dead, so I decided to remove him. Ooh! Messing with the mic here. That's the other hermit crab. And I ended up getting a new snail because of that algae problem. And he's still working on the algae. Yeah, this is uh, a day later. Maybe two days. No, I think it's one day. And that's the clown. He's real happy. I got him to eat. Have him on some flakes. And um, he's doing pretty good. Honestly, he's doing pretty good. And uh, so this tank is fully stocked. I think that's about as far as I'm going to go for the livestock. But don't worry, VFD is not done with salt water. Very soon, 
Christmas timey ish. We're getting a 20 gallon coral reef, which will be very fun. I can't wait to get corals. But I'm not gonna be hosting any corals here in this tank. And that is that guy, the pistol shrimp. I think I've named him Pete because you know, like Pistol Pete NBA. Yeah, that's that's what I named him. He's got himself a nice burrow. He seems like he knows what he's doing. And that claw, I keep on hearing snapping noises. And I'm pretty sure that's because he's snapping. And another scene of clownfish here. I love his coloration, honestly. I like uh, the Ocellaris Perculia style clownfish, but I think this guy's a bit more exotic. And they were the same price at the fish store. I, I just went with this guy. I don't know why, but I like him more. It, it is subjective, though. This is a hermit crab, and my computer is fanning. I don't know if you could hear that on the microphone, but it is absolutely, the fans are blazing. Well, that will basically conclude today's video. My saltwater tank, uh, adding fish. It's been a short one, but as you can see, this is the final product. I'm very happy with it. Until the sump comes, then that's the final product. But uh, this, is bas this is basically it, folks. There's the peppermint shrimp in that clip. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Make sure to check out the Fancy Pen Society if you're in Depends. And I will see you in the next time.